Oh, the glory of the Lord. Oh, the glory of God. How many people know about God's glory and His grace? Say amen. If you know about God's glory and grace, amen. Let me see some hands up in here. <clears throat> Not one hand. What does that tell me? That tells me that the world is a terrible and wicked place because nobody knows about God's glory. Amen. Amen. Just like that rich man that was following Jesus and the disciples. Because that rich man wanted to be saved. He was all happy and happy. Happy and happy inside. You know, then he wanted to be saved. He heard Jesus preaching. He heard Jesus preaching the good word. And he wanted to be saved. I guess the Holy Spirit must have hit him right here. And the Holy Spirit told him, hey, this is your only chance to get saved. So he was following the disciples and Jesus. And he got too close. And the disciples said, back off, back off. Because, you know, they wanted to do Jesus a lot of harm back in those days. They thought he was going to do Jesus some harm. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus, knowing everything, Jesus already knew who he was and what he was going to ask. So Jesus said, let him do. Let him do. I want to hear what he has to say. And the rich man came to Jesus and he said, Master, what must I do to be saved? And he was smiling and happy. What must I do to be saved? Jesus said, sell everything you have to the poor and follow me. And all of a sudden, the man's smile turned into a frown. He did it in the mouth of faith and walked away because he didn't want to give up everything that he had in this world. He walked away. Why did he walk away? Because he didn't love Jesus. He loved his sins more than he loved Jesus. And when he walked away, he walked away from his own salvation. When he walked away, he walked away from his own life. When he walked away, he walked away from his own freedom. Because he was being held bondage by the evil one. He had no freedom. He walked away from his own life. He had no life. Because only Jesus gives us eternal life. And without eternal life, you're walking in darkness. You are condemned. That's not life. That's death. And he walked away from his own salvation. Because without Jesus, you have no salvation. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. Without Jesus, you don't have salvation. Amen. And he walked away from all of these things because he cherished the world. You can't take nothing with you when you go except your everlasting and your ever-wretched soul. Amen. Amen. So make your decisions today. The scripture says, choose today whom you shall serve. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and mammon. Mammon is money. Money, 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 money. Money makes people do things, right? Am I right about it? Money makes people do things. You know what I'm saying? That's why the humble in spirit shall inherit the earth. The humble in spirit shall inherit the earth. Don't you know that a rich man who has everything in this world actually has nothing that you know about Jesus? But that man is laying in the corner over there sleeping. That homeless man over there who has Jesus is more rich than the richest man in the world. Because when you have Jesus, you are rich. Amen. Without Jesus, you are poor. God said, I will humble the rich. And I will make the poor wealthy. Amen. Because the only riches you need is Christ Jesus. Store up not your riches in this world, but store up your treasures in heaven. Amen. And Jesus is the only one that can give you salvation. Salvation. 
Because when you refuse salvation, you face the defamation that's coming to this wicked nation through God's proclamation that we are all in dire eradication and this world is coming to a dire cessation because you refuse the salvation. So walk with Jesus today and accept it and have the justification and they take you ahead to a heavenly nation. Am I right about it? Let the church say amen. Amen. Yeah. Don't you know that Jesus is the only light in this world that you need? Amen. Oh, stop the step in the darkness. And I'm not going to blame it on the devil because you are doing it to yourself. Amen. I'm not going to put him in any category. Amen. Because we are destroying ourselves. And we've been doing so since the beginning of time. Amen. Since the beginning of time. Amen. God said to Adam, Adam, where are you? But he already knew, and he already knew. He said, Adam, where are you? Where are you, Adam? I can't see you. Because Adam wasn't in his usual state and his usual frame of mind. But he was deepened with the darkness. Amen? And God said, and God said, I am here, Lord. Are you following me? I am here. And he had some fig leaves on his body. I'm hiding, Lord, because I was naked. Who told you you was naked? Ah. When Adam and Eve sinned, that began the downfall of mankind. We invited sin into the world and gave Satan a place to reign. He couldn't reign in heaven. That's why he's reigning on earth, because we are stuck to him. And everybody born in this world has inherited sin. From Adam and Eve. Am I right about it? Right about it, because yeah. the Bible says this, Brother Lewis. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. What? The wages of sin is death. Yes. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Eternal what? Eternal life. Eternal what? Eternal life. Eternal life. Oh, I see the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Eternal life. Okay. So how many people want eternal life in Christ Jesus? I don't know, Lord. I don't think anybody's searching for eternal life. I don't see no hand. I don't know anything people looking for this free gift called eternal life in Jesus' promise. You know what? Free gift. It's a free gift. Free gift. It's a free gift, brother. Free. It's free. Everybody says the word. The Bible says, Jesus says, the first says free is free indeed. If I got everything is free. If I put a sign on that table and had a whole bunch of candies and it said free candies. They would be running to the table. So to what? To get the free candy. So to what? To get the free. Because it's free. So if I put a sign over there and it says free fruit. Right. They'd be running to the table to get some free fruit. Why? Because it's free. Because it's free. Amen. But when it comes to when it comes to the free gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus, nobody's interested. And that's worth more than anything in the world. Anything. Anything. Because what? Because what? Because what? That is salvation. Yeah. It leads to salvation. Eternal life leads to salvation. You mean to tell me that you're there again? That this world right now that we live in, we better have free food. Go ahead now. Free food. Go ahead now. Free candy. Go ahead now. But when it comes to free eternal life, they don't want it. They don't want it. They reject the free food. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? You see how the thing that's worked in this world so far? He's got everybody food. Amen. Amen. And he's got 85% of the adults right now. Now he's going after your kids. But listen to this, brother Lord. This free gift do not just, it, 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 it just don't start when you get to heaven. This free gift starts also while you're living here on earth. Say that again. I don't think they can hear you over there. This free gift that God has promised us through Christ Jesus our Lord 
It don't just start once you get to heaven. It starts now. 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 Christ is in the now. now. And then when you accept Christ Jesus as your Savior, you're you covered by the blood. You're no longer in this world. But the scripture says that I've been, I've seen it with God the Father in heavenly places. Am I right about it? I'm right about it. Amen. Amen. So, that's why we don't see it yet. Come yeah. now. Jesus said, I have overcome that. Come so on, shall you. Come on, preacher. I have overcome the world. And so shall you. Come on, preacher. Amen. 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 But the last one about that is this. The wages of sin. The wages. You constantly sinning and 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 live a lifestyle of sin. You want to die spiritually as well as physically. And that's going to lead to a separation from God. Separation from God. In hell. Eternal torment. Eternal torment. The, the way that they said is eternal death. Eternal death. You know how you go to work? Right. And you earn a paycheck? Right. You earn that paycheck. You right. earn that paycheck. Because you work hard for that paycheck. Yeah, right. And you want, you want your money on payday, right? Yes, you do. Guess what? You better earn eternal death. But you ain't going to want that. You're going to want, want it. You're going to want it. Amen. You're going to want that. Amen. Amen. So there's only two choices. The light or the darkness. Don't believe the height, there is no purgatory. Don't believe the height, there is no back door. You can't go and have a back door to Jesus. There's only one way to heaven. 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 There's when God flips the switch, it's either up or down. The Jesus says this, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock, I knock, I knock. He says, If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him. Yeah. And eat with him. And eat with me. And eat with me. And he with me. That means, when you accept Jesus and you ask for Jesus, he opens the door for you to come to him, and he will stop with you. He will be your friend, your friend until the end. Also, the Bible says this, to all who, it says, to all who did receive him. It says, but to all who, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become Children, 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 children of God, of God, children of God. You know why God calls us children, even though we're full grown, because we are all always learning, always learning. God bless. I can do one more. All right, man. We'll keep in touch. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. We're always learning. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. But also, I said, when I was a, when I was a baby Christian, I was sipping the milk. Sipping the milk. Because I was born to live. I was eating the dishes, learning about the world, learning about the bad work. And then I started eating the meat. Now I'm no longer sipping the milk. I'm eating the meat. I'm a full fledged kingdom warrior. Hold up. Hold up. I'm still alive. Hold up, my brother. Hold up. You can't eat the meat. 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 You can't eat the and just spit it out because they don't like how it tastes. Right. If you don't like how something tastes, you spit it out, right? But the word of God is good. Yeah, the tastes good. The and word of God is good. And the food is good. So yeah. what? We got to learn to digest that. Digest that. The word of God. We got to eat God's word. 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 Amen. Until you become yes, the word. Yes, sir. So you've got the word living in you. You are the word. So, so, so the truth is this, people. So God does not the world. So God does not the world. Yes, sir. This is personal. This is personal to any soul out here. Every soul out here. Look, this would be personal for, to, to me and personal to, and a person really personal to you. It says, for God so loved the world. Who's the world? You are the world. You are the world. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave 
that God gave His one and only Son. His what? He gave His Son for you. His what? His one and only Son. His what? His one and only Son. 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 It says this. Also it says this. His one and only Son. That whoever believes in Him, believes in who? Jesus. Yeah. Believe in, say, hey, 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 you can't walk down and just say, I believe in Jesus. Say, hey, the Bible says what? The devil, the devil believes too. The devil believes too, but guess what? The devil trembles, okay? But it says, it says, so, it says, 